A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Marseille. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. Le numéro 14, Juan Bernat. Le numéro 8, Leandro Paredes. Le numéro 6, Marco Verratti. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Keylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Kylian Mbappe starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. how it looks for Marseille I'll tell you what you don't see this formation every day of the week no I mean it looks very attack minded with the three up front the three in midfield supplying the width as well but I'm a little bit worried about the three centre backs will they get exposed in the wide areas And the match begins. Doing well to keep possession. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Mbappe. Must take the lead here. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early. Well, as we see from the replay, it's a classic pullback cross that sets up the chance and it all leads to a 2v1 on the keeper, which he really doesn't have any chance with. It's a great team goal. And underway again here with PSG in front. Neymar, PSG looking dangerous, it's Neymar, and a goal, the quick one too, and they've turned this game on its head. Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generating a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time, look. And the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, a second goal for them here. And let's join Alan McAdami because I believe there's been a goal in the Gladbach game. Alan. It's a goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAdami keeping us right up to date. Clean challenge. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. And he favours the inside route. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable. What a performance. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick. Fully deserved. Well done indeed. Well, the ball is rolling once more. PSG dominant. And it's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. Doughty defending to win the ball back. 
And news of a goal in the Bayern game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Bayern Munich. It's been scored. Is it going to be? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. To clarify, Bayern have scored in that match and they now hold a 1-0 lead. And a throw-in forthcoming. Alvaro. And Rogier. I can tell you a goal has been scored at the San Siro. Let's find out about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Milan. 21 minutes played. 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, PSG certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. And space to cross it. It's opening up for them. Well, he likes to run at them. It should be a goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish too. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Cuisance moving forward effectively. PSG struggling to keep the ball, and he's through here. Stout defending there, off the line. Di Maria, promising attack, but his timing was off. I believe there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bordeaux. 37 minutes played. 1-1. Alan McAnally. And he's broken free. And it's there for him. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here's the replay, and Derek, if you get caught on the ball there, you should be fined a week's wages. It's terrible, and he's punished. Some explaining to be done to his coach, I feel. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in full flight. For clarification, Bordeaux have scored in that match, and the match is level at 1-1. Oh, just mistimed his run, and the flag going up. Bernat. Well, possibilities in the centre. Verratti. He got in the way of that cross. Keane. And Neymar. It's got to be Neymar. Oh, tight offside decision. But the flag does go up. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Pac... Mbappé.
And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? Valentin Rogier. Intelligent threaded pass here. And he takes it on. And stopped there by Marquinhos. Couldn't hang on to the ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Really good block. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, someone has found the net at the Borussia Park. Who exactly? Alan McAdally. It's a goal from Monaco. It's been scored by you. Great opportunity. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And well, we never like cutting off Alan McAdally, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons. To confirm, Monaco did score in that match. Toba! What a vital intervention. Di Maria sliding it through. And successfully cut. That's out. And offside all the way. And news of a goal in the Bayern game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a third goal for Bayern Munich. 62 minutes played. 3-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Crossing possibilities. Dario Benedetto. Kawi. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And he's broken free. And the PSG corner. Well, the verdict, as far as Florian Tova is concerned, it might sound harsh, but cat classy goalkeeping. Well, it was a good save from the goalkeeper, but you'd expect him to make that save, wouldn't you? A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, how many goals are we going to get? The chances are just coming thick and fast. Defensively, they're all over the place. Can they make them pay a little bit more? It looks like they can. A possession lost, intercepted. Well, let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Milan match. Alan? It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Sergio Aguero. That's his second today. His marker lost him and he had a free header. 73 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. It's a weighted pass. And still looking for space. Will it be? A goal! We're really being spoiled this is attacking football at its finest well here's the replay how well has he done there the defenders close in on him they think they've got him no chance of balls in the back of the net it's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now and news of a goal in the Milan match. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal from Milan. 80 minutes played. 2-2. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Nicely cut out. Really good challenge. Breaking at pace. Di Maria. They need to get bodies back. That is a splendid goal from Angel Di Maria. And even when you think you've seen everything in his repertoire, he comes up with something.